What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Complexity. Today, Scotty and I are uh, accompanied by the wonderful Ojai Riley, Flex God Valorant player for Team Complexity. How are you doing today? I'm having a perfect day now that I'm here with you two. Oh, thanks. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, so sweet. And Scotty, how about yourself? Fantastic, amazing. Nice. Today, we are going to be looking at some grilled cheese and tomato soup. <clears throat> it's going to be delicious, tasty stuff, like usual. Let's get to it. All right, so now we're getting into the prep of things and uh, let's start with Scotty. What do you got over here? So we're gonna start with a little butter. Need that for every grilled cheese? Every grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. And we're every gonna start grill. with that for our base with the tomato soup. Okay. To that we're gonna be adding some garlic, which everybody loves garlic. Mm -hmm. Also kills them vampires out your family. True. And some that. onion. Perfect. I got a wonderful, beautiful can. Nice. Of tomato soup. <laughs> His soup's so, already done. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> we got some asparagus going on. Mm -hmm. Beautiful grilled cheese idea. Gonna be tasty, gonna be delicious. Sweet. Let's hop straight into the prep, shall we? All right. And I'm sure while they both start up, they'll both find a task menial enough for me to do yes, somewhere. Yes, sir. Yes, uh -huh. sir. In fact, is this mine? This is, this is my get baby. To you get to Grayton. You gotta get to Grayton. All right. So how many cheeses are the both of you using in either of your grilled cheeses? Um, I'm just going to go with a Gruyere. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Sir. Just Gruyere? Yep. What about you? Um, I'm going with just cheddar. Just cheddar? Just cheddar. cheddar. I'm a cheddar fiend. I feel like I've seen a multitude of grilled cheese options online that add probably four or five different cheeses. Oh yeah. Call it a day. There's it a lot of Depends on how fancy cheeses. you want to get with it, how funky, you know what I mean? Would you say more cheeses adds to the fanciness or the type of cheese adds Generally to the fanciness? Generally speaking, but yeah, if you started with a real fancy, he's got a block for you there. If oh, you got started okay. with a real fancy <laughs> cheese, that's all you need really. Okay. But yeah, if you want to get a complexity of flavors mm. in your grilled cheese. Ooh, now I you're like talking. I like how you did that. I like how I did you did there. that. Mm -hmm. Then you go to about three, you know what I mean? So basically all I'm doing here is my asparagus. I'm gonna do it in a cast iron skillet that I brought. So jealous. And I'm going to basically have them long wise. So now I'm gonna start chopping up this little onion here. Little fun fact with me, onions do not make me cry. Ooh, really? Yes. What? However, they do make me sneeze, so we'll see how this goes. Wait a second, how does that work? I don't know. I've got some kind of onion that's Super amazing. Power slash deficiency. Dude. So I know both of you are using one cheese each in the grilled cheese. Yes, sir. And I saw something about you using milk in your mm -hmm. in your tomato soup, and I'm not sure if you're doing the same, Scotty, but how important would you say is milk, cheese, really any dairy product, butter in your recipes? Well, you know, you've always want to get some some dairy in there. That's especially when you got a grill, I mean a tomato soup. Mm -hmm. When you're making it creamy. Mm -hmm. The dairy is going to help it make it creamy. Mm -hmm. So I've got both butter and cream in there to help you out with some uh, essential nutrients like magnesium, helps with protein, all that good stuff. So that oh, you're not yeah. just getting deliciousness, you're getting some healthy aspects to it too. Mm -hmm. Some healthy deliciousness. That's yes. true. Yes. That's true. So I don't know if you needed all this cheese, but uh, I'm definitely Probably not, but you know, you did a great job. I mean, you gave I, me a block. I you want another a block? block? A little squeegee of olive oil really in there. <laughs> I think that'll be good. <laughs> so for this garlic here, Scotty, you want me to cut it up for you? Yes, How do you want please. it? You want it crushed? Just a minced? nice, I give it a nice little manhandle and then oh, a rough yeah. chop is fine. Sure thing. Speaking of grilled cheeses, when's the last time you you guys made a grilled cheese? How about starting with you, Ohai? Probably a couple weeks ago, yeah. most notably. But How'd you do it? You take just a piece of white bread mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. American cheese. Okay. Yep. You flatten out the white bread, mm -hmm. put the American cheese right on top, and right. you roll it all up. Oh. And then you toss it right on the pan with some butter, and it's oh like a little gosh. grilled cheese roll. Ooh. It sounds like the most healthy thing imaginable, right? That sounds delicious. I love that. It's very delicious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How love about you, Scotty? I made a fantastic uh, grilled cheese with some smoked Gouda Ooh. and some stale uh, hot dog ah, buns. Sorry, buddy. That sounds so, delicious. It was, it was. And it was a good use of the hot dog buns because they were terrible, but the cheese made them amaze balls. Mm -hmm. so, Especially when you're hungry after a long day. Yes, I was to say the least. hungry after a long day. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start with some exact measurements of pepper. Yeah, what's going on? I'm, I'm, I'm over here peering into your, into your pot. So I got a little pepper, a little salt. I love onions. Little They're so tasty. Crushed red pepper. Oh yeah. A little bit all the of... Oregano. Mm-hmm. Oregano? Yep. 
give it a handy dandy stir with my spoon. So how long does this soup usually take to... So you're gonna get these onions and garlic kind of simmered down for mm -hmm. about five minutes. And after that, it's about a 10 minute process. Okay. Just uh, getting everything Ooh. all together. I've got a nice, lovely tub of tomatoes here, freshly picked, hopefully I don't splatter. Oh, wow. Cool. Only a little bit. Only a little bit, only a slight splatter. Now I've got a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I think that's exactly how you pronounce it. Which I should have opened prior to right now. Got our Worcestershire, give it a couple, eh, eh. Ooh. Oh my and goodness. Gosh. Yep. Got a little bit of sugar here just to kind of balance out the acidity in the mm -hmm. tomatoes. Oh yeah. Like so. Delicious. A little bit of a stir. It's like the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and Not one of my quite, but <laughs> favorite it'll parts be just of this as good. is we've got some, some more dairy. We've got some Parmesan. We're just gonna put this whole thing in there. Just let just it. Just the whole thing? Just let it have a nice little bath. What part of the, is that the rind? Yeah. It's the booty. Nice. Yeah, it's the like booty that. of the of the Parmesan. Mm. Are you letting it all melt in there? Yeah, we're just gonna let it get happy. You know, it's gonna just hang out. It's gonna have more flavor, more complexity, should I say, to mm -hmm. it. Complexion, complexity. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna let that go for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna get Heck on to yeah. the grilled cheeses. Yep, I'm gonna use all that basil. Perfect. Just cut off the stems. We're gonna mm. add that to the sauce. Would you please leave me one leaf, mm -hmm. a singular leaf? Thank you. I've got some chicken stock here I'm gonna also add there. This is kind of uh, optional. If you're not into the chicken stocks, you can also use veggie stock. All it stock. Happens, happens to have some little They're bit so of flavor tasty. to it. All right, I'm gonna throw in my asparagus yeah. and start getting this Fine line. tasty and nice. This is smelling All of very it soupy. A little it's bit amazing. more oil. Um, now that we've tossed in our basils, our salts, and our peppers, mm -hmm. Is there any secret ingredient that is going into your guys' uh, recipes today? So I think my special ingredient is just going to be super simple and it's going to be the asparagus. You know, a lot of people don't tend to put vegetables inside grilled cheeses, but mm -hmm. I love vegetables yeah. so much, especially on the cast iron. Cast yeah. iron makes the vegetables perfect. Yeah. So, so for today, my little flary flair, uh, a lot of times with the uh, Tomato soup, you have croutons with it. Mm -hmm. and so what I'm, today I'm gonna make my grilled cheese into croutons. We're gonna make the grilled cheese and then so mm -hmm. we're gonna season it on the outside like you would a crouton to give okay. it a kind of flavor, in it, flavor of a crouton. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna cover it in squares mm -hmm. right on top. So I know you mentioned sourdough earlier. Are you yes. still using sourdough today? I am, I'm gonna get that here shortly too. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to be using the wonderful sourdough. It's such a beautiful bread, one of my favorites. It's so what tasty. is it about sourdough? The beautifulest of Dude, the breads. Dude, it's just, Sour and doughy. It's just, it's great. Nailed it. You and you're both sharing this bread today? Yeah. Put it right in the middle. Perfect. Oh, look at that. You know what? I'll find myself useful. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. Lovely. Only if we need to. All right, so my soup is looking pretty soupy here. Mm. What I'm now going to do is pop it in a nice little blender just to give it a, a blend. So. Okay. I saw a lot of chunks of tomato in there. Yeah, we won't want it too chunky. What I'm doing here is I'm just gonna put all this stuff in a blender, because we've got big chunks of tomato, and this is gonna be creamy tomato soup, not big chunky tomato soup. Hopefully it works when I turn on. Hey! Now that Scotty Scott is taking care of his soup, I'm actually gonna start mine. The secret to Campbell's soup is the half and half, or the heavy cream, or the milk, However you like it. Are you using all of this? Uh, not all of it. I was gonna say that ratio would be <laughs> just a bit. A little wacky. Just a little bit. So now we can see before and after in the pot. Now nice all blended together there. I'm just gonna put this in here once again. Let this cool off. Hit blend and make a mess. How have you gotten all of your cooking experience? Because I know you, mm -hmm. and I know how much you cook. I know what you can cook. I know what you're capable of. True. So before I started playing games, I actually worked in uh, quite a few different restaurants, from delis to pizza places mm -hmm. to sushi places. Um, and I kind of learned through all the people there, you know? A lot Sweet. of self-study. Yes, yeah. sir. Love and it, And I've been a part of a lot of that studying. You've tested out a multitude of recipes. That's true. For, me. for those who don't know, 
Riley and I, before we got on the complexity, we roomed together. Mm -hmm. We were roommates. He taught me everything I know. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about I, that's that. That's what I like saying. I, I think you give me too much credit. All right, so we've got it all blended together. Back in the pot. And we'll let that be cleaned up later. <clears throat> How's it looking, right. boss? It's looking like a mess. I was going to say, a, a little messier mess. than before, but a I delicious think you made mess. it happen. Oh, absolutely. So what's the next step from here? Next step from here, the soup is pretty much done, but we've got a piece of resistance, of course more dairy. So we're going to oh, add yeah. a little bit of heavy whipping cream. Ooh, Ooh, yummy. Because this is creamy tomato soup. Mm -hmm. It's not non-creamy tomato soup. While so. you're over there, I know me and Monsoon were just going over the fact that he's putting half and half in his too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've we got, got butter yep. and we're going to get our Gruyere going here. Gruyere. We're going to start with our Gruyere. Just place it in the bread like mm. so. Big old fistful. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to place the, um, the bread on top. This is a somewhat uh, controversial technique, but I like to butter the actual pan with the butter. See, I was actually just thinking about that. Yeah. I think both work fine. Yeah. I mean, some people are like, oh man, and your butter's gonna taste like the pan. Well, no it's not. It's gonna taste like we're cooking. But that helps it melt a little bit, so I'm gonna put some in the pan. Mm -hmm. And on top, oh, a little bit of garlic powder. Okay, okay. Sounds good. And then, can you please hand me the pepper? Yes, sir. But of course. Thank there you. A little bit of pepper. That pepper is going to get nice and toasty mm -hmm. when you put it in that butter. All right, so. You going to season the other side after that, too? Or just the one side? Man. I'm just curious at this point. <laughs> yes. We're going to season the other side will also be seasoned. <laughs> Get a little butter now in the pan. I, now that you say it, Come it on. seems pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> oh, so you took a little bit of a different approach. Oh, yeah. You're going both slices at the same time. Both slices. Both, both of them. going to put the cheese on, going to lay the asparagus on, and after the bread has started to crisp up, we're going to throw it in the oven or the broiler so that the cheese melts, oh. asparagus gets into it, and then you flip it last second. Okay. All right. Ah. Are you ready for your, your next step here? My test? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna give this to you because uh, I don't know if I can do it. Okay. So we need to flip the grilled cheese. Okay. There you go, sir. All right. And just give it a, you, don't be a, afraid to use your finger to kind of guide it. Yeah, there you go. What we're gonna do here, you're gonna get it up. Yep. And I'm gonna add it with some butter. Okay. And then oh, yeah. do it. A little co-op mission we just oh. went on. Oh my God. Oh. Looks That's like so a, good. Oh my God, it's like garlic bread with cheese all up in it. When the cheese frees itself from the bread, and then you get a little bit of crustiness that's been fried up with mm -hmm. it, that's what we want. Well, it smells Where? and looks amazing over there. Ooh, man. Get a close up on this. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting Ooh. on all of the asparagus. Oh, of man. Asparagus. May or may not be jealous right now. Ooh, um, baby. And this is about ready to be taken to the oven as well. So I'm going to take this. This is a little warm. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to use the apron. Yeah, you need some. You got that? Uh, here we go. Huh. Put this down right here. Oh, oh. <sighs> as you can see here, all the bottom cheese is already melting. Um, and we don't want any, you know, solid cheese in the middle. We want it all melted. Here we go. Nice. And we'll close that for 30 seconds to a minute. Looks good. Gonna take it out. As you can see, exactly what I was talking about. And let's go ahead and run it back, shall we? Oh, oh. my wow. damn. Yes, sir. And that's the broiler that did that? Yeah, a little convection oven set to 400 degrees. Looks pretty tasty. Wow. I'm yeah. Steal this. And I'm just gonna go ahead, lift this up here. Uh, wow. Perfect. Wow is, oh, oh. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Oh man. yeah. And that, that's, that's it for me. Okay. Oh yeah. 
As you can see, these two incredible grilled cheese recipes that I made are clearly plated for you. Um, thank you guys for your help, and thank you for letting me help uh, where I could. Of course. Two beautiful representations of the same dish here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one a little bit more on the complex, passionate side, another mm -hmm. canned soup. How likely uh, do you think you are to make this now that you've been through the process? You could probably knock this out at home, right? Oh yeah, for sure. I mm -hmm. think both of them, maybe not the exact same steps, maybe not the exact same ingredients. Oh, yeah. I think these are both pretty easy, pretty easy to follow, mm -hmm. and, and good to make at home. Who's am I eating first? Oh man. Up to you. But before we do that, just want to let everybody who's watching know that both of these recipes will actually be in the description of the video if you're interested in reciprocating. But the beautiful thing about food in general is there's always room to make your own mark. Always. Use whatever ingredients, do whatever you want, however you like it. Just have fun with it. If do it you... tastes bad, that's all right. All right. Well, heck yeah. Do we jump in here now? Let's I dive in. Do. All right. Enjoy it. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look yeah, at yeah, how yeah. it coats that bread, you know? Wow. It's got the texture because you blended it up with the crushed tomatoes. Oh my gosh, that cheese. Cheesy F, mm. baby. I lost. Oh my good I lost. god. You gotta That's shake like a his 10 hand out of 10. After that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for letting me experience that. You're welcome. Dip. Dip. Come on, man. You almost didn't dip. Get almost, it in there. I had the thought of dipping before you even said dip. Oh. Mm -hmm. My bad. Yes, sir. Ooh. Mm. Mm. That, oh my God! That 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 let you know it's good. Mm -hmm. The Not slurp. Bad. That's that's. Oh my God! <laughs> yep. Yep. That's that. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh Asparagus man. all up in there. Shout out to the boys, Scotty Scott. You got any ats? Any Instagram? Cook, anything? drank, D R E N K, all across the internet. That grilled cheese uh, tomato soup can also be found at Cook Drank D R E N K dot com. Heck yeah, beautiful. And Riley, thank you so much for coming out and being it, one of our guests on this show. Thank I you, hope it was, it was a, a good time. Yeah. How about you, you got any socials you want to shout out? Um, yeah, twitter.com slash ohi with two A's and three I's mm -hmm. and then uh, twitch.tv slash ohi, just O-H-A-I. Yep. Appreciate you guys for coming along with us. Hopefully it was good enough that you guys can recreate or want to, maybe that passion or motivation to get in your kitchen and cook, especially with dairy products. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Oh. Oh. Yo, thank you guys for checking out this episode. I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you for all the kind words and support. Shout out to Dairy Max, shout out to you guys as well. And if you feel like it, if you like this episode, feel free to check out the other ones because they're just as cool wherever they are. Don't know how this is going, but appreciate it. See you guys next time.